give a little bit massage just to deserve it and then go to the opposite side. Xin chào, welcome to Moving Mango. I'm Hena, the creator of the Moving Mango Method. Today, I'm going to share with you top speedless movement to build and tone your thighs and your booty at the same time. So if you're ready, just roll your mat and let's do this together. Alright, now let's start by allowing yourself to do some warm up before we start the main workout. So start with coming to own full position. Open your legs a bit apart and your arms shoulders apart. And I wanted to inhale deep your shoulders down between your arms and lift it up. So pull the belly button in 10. Look down to the mat. Lengthen your neck. 8. Soften your knees a little bit. Soften your elbows a little bit if you need to. 4. 3 two and last one now engage your core soften your elbows here and slowly move backward and then lengthen up to on for position again so five keep breathing four belly button in three two and last one good and now step one leg forward and one leg back and i'm going to engage your core slowly Lengthen your leg, move forward, and then slide your foot backward. So five, keep breathing. Four, hips facing down. Three, so you can put your whole forearms down if it's easier for the wrist. And last one, and slowly come back. And then to the opposite side. So inhale, lengthen, and move backward. And then come back. And five, keep breathing. Four, look down to the mat. Don't hold your breath two and last one and slowly bring it back lengthen your opposite leg again tuck your foot and flex the ankle move your heel backward and bring it back so you're going to feel the back of your leg is stretching four three two and last one to the opposite side tuck your foot and move backward come back five four belly button in three to end last one and slowly bring it back to the center now inhale rotate the ankles and then reverse and slowly engage your core around your spine and articulate your spine cat and cow in sitting position so five times you got your own breath inhale and exhale keep breathing use the breath to control the movement and three Squish in the thighs, belly button in to support your lower back. And last one. And slowly bring your back back to neutral. That's beautiful. Let's move to the main workout here. So during the workout, anytime if you need to, you can stop and rotate the wrist. Reverse. If it's easier for your wrist, put your forearms down. If it's easier for the wrist as well, otherwise just lengthen your arms. Lift one leg up, your hips facing down to the mat. Engage your core and slowly move your leg as far as you can come back. So 10, 9, belly button in, 8, 7, look down to the mat, 6, soften your elbows, 5, shoulders on top of your wrist, 4, try to reach your foot as far as you can, 2, and last one now same leg and lengthen your leg and then start to lift as high as you can come back so 10 9 8 7 6 only bring it down to parallel to the ground 4 3 stabilize your torso always slowly bend your knee to the opposite side lift your leg up to 90 degrees extend the ankle and reach as far as you can come back so 10 nine eight seven six beautiful five four three two and last one up and down lengthen your leg lift and down lengthen and down for nine eight keep breathing seven six soften your elbows if you need to four squeeze your body two and Last one is slowly bend your knees, shake your hips a little bit, active, extend the ankle, open your leg to one side, come back. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 
nine, eight, seven, six, stabilize your hips, five, four, squeeze in the thighs when you bring your leg back to the gate center. And last one, to the opposite side, open, come back for 10, move your whole leg, nine, eight, same angle on your knee, seven, six, beautiful, five, don't hold your breath, three, two, and last one, open, come back, put your whole forearm down, engage your core, now this time, inhale, open your leg, kick, and then come back, close 10 times, so 10, keep breathing, nine, just open as far as you can and extend your leg as far as you can, seven, make sure you engage your core, six, keep breathing, and five, I feel amazing on my thighs and booty. I hope they feel the same. Good. Keep breathing. Last one. And slowly bring it back to the opposite side. And I'm going to rotate to the other side so I have more space. I have more space for my leg. All right. Again. So open, kick, come back and close for 10. Keep breathing. Nine. Again, listen to your body. Eight. Come back. Seven. You can always feel like one side is more tight than the other one. So just listen to your limitation on the range of the movement and do what you can and not over. Very good. And last one. Open. Come back. Close. Shake your hips in here deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply to your mouth. Tuck your feet. Lift your hips as high as you can. Lift it up as high as you can. So you can always bend your whole knee down if it's easier for you. Listen to your body. Ten times each side. So ten. Keep breathing. Nine. Belly button in. Eight. Seven. Six. Squeeze your body. Five. Beautiful, four, almost there, three, you can do this, two, that's amazing, stabilize your hips and switch to the opposite side, lengthen, stop to your knee and up and down for ten, nine, eight, seven, keep breathing, six, squeeze in the thighs, four, don't hold your breath at all, three, and two more times here, so last one, knees bend, come to try pose, inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth, all right, and now I'm going to allow yourself to lie all the way down on your belly, so make a pillow under your forehead, Open your legs if you apart, activate your feet, inhale, shoulders down towards the hips, pull the belly button in, squeeze your body, lift your legs as high as you can, start to make a little pose together. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, amazing, 1, and slowly bring your legs down, shake your hips, activate your feet. Inhale and lift one leg up and down to the other side. Come back. So just go up to the part you feel comfortable with your lower back. Rest your head down. Inhale. Belly button in. Ten. Nine. Keep breathing. Eight. And seven. You can lift your head off the mat and look down to the mat if it's more comfortable with you. Six. But listen to your lower back. Five. Very good. Four. Keep breathing. Three and two stabilize your torso and slowly bring your legs down shake your hips into deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your bow now lean on one side to do psychic series so i wanted to inhale slowly keep your hands support your head and pull the valley button in the other hand in front of your chest now keep your knees at 90 degrees inhale and open your legs and bring it back 10 times here with your own breath keep breathing nine relax your shoulders eight you can always rest your head down on your arm if it's easier for the wrist six belly button in and five stabilize your torso four stabilize your hips three two and last one open come back open as wide as you can and lengthen all the way up come back ten nine 
good keep breathing eight seven pull the value button in six and five four beautiful three good two and last one up and down and bring your leg just about the hips to the front lengthen open as wide as you can and then come down ten times so ten keep breathing nine that's amazing eight i love this so much seven shoulders far away from your ears six five beautiful and four three engage your core press your lower leg down to the mat and last one and slowly bend your knees put your feet down give a little bit massage if you need to the next movement i wanted to allow yourself to inhale open your knee as wide as you can and lift your toes your feet up so engage your core and slowly bring your leg towards the front come back and close your knees open 10 times so 10 engage your core stabilize your hips nine try to reach as far as you can come back squeeze your booty eight beautiful and seven this is very fun to me <laughs> i hope you feel the same five let me know how you feel by commenting below i would love to hear from you guys for your comments really made me feel happy and more motivation last one and slowly bring it back give a little bit massage because you deserve it and then go to the opposite side so again hands apart your head bring both legs to whoops bring both legs to 90 degrees here and the other hand in front of your chest shoulders far away from your ears and make sure you exhale to high your ribcage pull the belly button in now i wanted to engage your core open as wide as you can come back 10 press your lower leg down eight bring it down with control and slowly seven rest your head down on your arm if it's more comfortable with your wrist and five four three good two and last one open come back now inhale and open your leg as wide as you can pull the belly button in lengthen and down and ten nine keep breathing eight seven try to reach as far as you can five squeeze your inner thighs four activate your feet three relax your shoulders and last one and slowly bring it down about the hips and lengthen to the front lift as high as you can come back and always soften your knees if it's easier for you we want to move everything from the hips and so that's the most important thing 10 keep breathing nine press your lower leg down eight seven i don't know if you can see them my leg is shaking right now six it's really shaking five that's what i really love four three and two squeeze your inner thighs squeeze your body and slowly bend your knees and bring your legs down shake your hips a little bit and the next movement i wanted to inhale and lift your toes up open your knee as wide as you can now slowly inhale lengthen your leg towards the front come back knees close and bring it back so 10 keep breathing bend and nine knees down and up eight squeeze your inner thighs squeeze your booty seven and close and bring it back six belly button in lift your heels a little bit higher for more challenging five that's beautiful four and three two more times with your own breath and last one and slowly bring it back to the center shake your hips and deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right and when you're ready i wanted to allow yourself to come to on four position again open your legs if it's apart and now slowly engage your core just move your hips all the way towards the heels and then come back 10 times so 10 keep breathing nine belly button in go as far as you can eight seven 
six. Bring it back slowly if you can, five. The slower we do, the more challenging it is. Squish in the thighs, squish your booty, engage your core. Good. Two. And last one. And slowly come back, work right. And now keep your knees and your heels towards the center here. Lengthen one leg, lift your leg just above the hips. Now draw a big circle as big as you can, five. Four. Soften your knee, soften your elbows. Two. And last one, in reverse for five. Four, stabilize your hips, only moving your whole leg. Two, and last one, knees bend to the other side, lift it up, big circle. Five, four, keep breathing. Three, two, last one, in reverse for five, four. Inhale with control, exhale, two, and last one, knee bend, shake your hips, you know, deeply to your nose, rotate the ankles, and then reverse. All right, now the next movement, I wanted to allow yourself to lie all the way down on your back. Arms along your body, open your legs, mat width apart, so wider than your hips. Tuck the tailbone forward, press your lower back down, pull the belly button in, lift your hips as high as you can and slowly bring it down. Ten times with your own breath. So tuck the tailbone forward, draw it all the way up and bring it down. Nine, keep breathing. Squeeze your booty, squeeze your inner thighs. Eight, come back. Seven, and six more times. The inhale and exhale five and four belly button in three keep breathing and two more times with your own breath and last one up and down and slowly bring your knees towards the center open your legs to with the part tuck the tailbone all the way up and your hips up now i wanted to imagining that you have a ball between your thighs or a pillow between your thighs squeeze into and then come back so squeeze bring your knees towards the center and bring it back for 10 9 hips up 8 belly button in 7 6 and 5 keep breathing 4 3 beautiful 2 and last one and slowly draw your hips down shake your hips and inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. And now slowly inhale, bring both legs up to 90 degrees. I'm gonna do it. And now slowly inhale, lengthen your leg up to the ceiling and the other leg up. Extend the ankle, open your legs and bring it back with control, squeezing the thighs. So 10, keep breathing, do it slowly. Nine, belly button in it. Seven, and six keep your knees on top of your hips five four good open your arms wider two and last one open come back bend your knees open your knees as wide as you can squeeze in the thigh bring your knees back so ten nine i wanted to really squeeze the inner thighs here eight seven squeeze your booty belly button in five good keep breathing four move your knees further away to feel more three two and last one good and now slowly inhale open both legs to the side arms along your body move one knee towards the chest and to the opposite side keep the same angle on your knees so ten nine open your knees as wide as you can eight seven keep breathing six and five, four, belly button in, three, two, and last one, and slowly bring your legs back to the center, hug your knees to your chest, inhale deeply, rotate the ankles, and then reverse, exhale deeply through your mouth. Good, lengthen one leg, lengthen your opposite leg up, extend the ankle, and open your arms wider for more support. Start to rotate a circle with your legs without moving your hips. So your hips press down to the mat. 10, 
9. You can bend your knee if it's easier for you to move and stabilize your hips at the same time. 8. 7. Keep breathing. 6. Or just extend to have more challenging, but make sure you feel comfortable with your lower back. 4. That's beautiful. 3. 2. And last one. Reverse. So 10. Same leg. Same side. 9. To the opposite way. 8. Soften your knee if you need to. 7. Or just lengthen your leg all the way if you can. 6. Keep breathing. Feel your leg is shaking. 5. 4. Press your whole arms down. 3. 2. Last one. And slowly bend your knees, switch to the opposite side, lengthen and rotate 10, press your opposite leg and hips down to the mat, 9, keep breathing, 8, the bigger circle is the more challenging it is, 7, the key important thing is have to move, uh, have to stabilize your hips here, 4, inhale halfway, exhale halfway, 2, Last one. And reverse for 10. 9. Keep breathing. 8. Move your leg towards the head a little bit more if you want to make it more challenge. And 5. 4. 3. Shoulder blades down. 2. And last one. Good. And I slowly bend your knee. Put your feet down, shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose, lift your heels up, up and down for five. Exhale deeply through your mouth. Two, and last one. Good. Now the next movement, I'm going to allow yourself to inhale and lift your legs up. Extend your legs all the way up to the ceiling. Now this time, engage your core, open your legs wider and start to draw a tiny circle with both legs. Same angle on your knees or just lengthen all the way. Ten, nine. 8, 7, 6, straighten your ankle, 3, 2, 1, reverse, and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, now flex the ankle, start to make a little pulls again for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, now bend your knees towards the chest and kick all the way to the side and up so 10 9 keep breathing 8 7 6 and 5 4 3 stabilize your hips belly button in last one and slowly bring your knees back put your feet down inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right, and when you're ready, just bring one leg up, dorsi flex with your foot, lengthen, make a little pulse, and we're gonna cool down a little bit before we complete the workout. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, to the opposite side, and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and slowly bring it back, hug both knees to your chest. And now open your leg to the side, hug your ankles, and slowly just hold it here. Shake your hips a little bit. Inhale deeply through your nose. Exhale deeply through your mouth. Feel your hips are stretching. Try to open your knees a little bit wider. And slowly bring it back. Hug your knees to your chest. Lengthen both legs and rotate the ankles. Reverse. Dorsi flex with your feet and extend and dorsi flex but this time try to slide your hands up as far as you can soften your knees are you going to lengthen all the way if you can do that just listen to your body as long as you feel the back of your knee your leg is stretching and your hamstring is stretching at the same time that's amazing good and now slowly bring your knees down shake your hips in here deeply and exhale deeply put one foot down your opposite leg go on top of your thigh and then lift your leg up hug your thigh pull it towards the chest 
bring it down to the opposite side and pull it toward the chest and slowly bring it back keep your feet together open your arms wide bring your knees to one side look towards the opposite shoulder blades down to the other side and slowly bring your knee back to the center shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose exhale deeply through your mouth one more deep breath exhale arms along your body reach your shoulders towards the ears and then shoulders towards the hips so shoulders up and hands towards the knee and come back for five four three good two and last one lift your arms up reach and down for five four three two and last one beautiful lean on one side to sit up <sighs> all right inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth <sighs> and that's the work after today thank you so much for joining me i hope you enjoyed it let me know how it went for you by commenting below i would love to hear from you guys and i'm going to see you tomorrow for the next workout bye bye